Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we're quite relaxed here in our camping chairs beside <laughs> Ben's cask. Everything's fine. Oh no, we had a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. You had a lot of trouble. I already had it a few months ago um, that yeah, the Whiskey Vision TV cask broke. And as you can see on Whiskey Vision TV, there is no picture anymore. Um, we actually re had the cask repaired, or I've taken out everything into um, spirit safe containers so that they don't react with the, with the spirit and had the cask repaired. And as you can see, now we don't have a transparent lid. We do have a wood lid. Yeah, so, uh, for whenever you switch in here first, you're new to the channel, uh, there is a video, a time-lapse video online where you can see where the fresh whiskey uh, starts to mature and becomes brownish, darker uh, during maturation. We took a picture every hour, every day, every... Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day and put it after each other. At the beginning other. every hour, but then every day. Yeah. And then you could see how the, the brownish uh, color rises from the bottom and then mixes in everything. So it was one, and then on top level uh, reduced by evaporation and taking samples. So everything's fine. And then uh, there was a mess. Uh, the lid broke, the glass lid broke. Mm. And we lost a little bit. So there is, it's still, 80% uh, full probably something but, like that but we lost some liters and uh, now we have to to taste it uh, well you can't see it any longer and we have you have to watch these videos to see the maturing color of it we're very sorry about that mm -hmm. um, but uh, so uh, w what is, does happen okay we have a, a, a time uh, between the two um, what do you call it the two maturations. So, do you think that anything happened to the whiskey within the uh, containers? spirit containers? Uh, well, you said two of the containers were full, so there should only be some inert or internal uh, modification of compounds. It's not stable because it's so young. Mm -hmm. uh, and the smaller one, which was only half full, um, there was a lot of air on top of that so we should have seen some oxidization taking place in that small mm -hmm. container but the most of the content of the cask should have been not very changed so you expect the the flavor to be roughly the same yeah okay so hmm, okay the lids uh, are exactly the same material as the the surroundings now it's oak yeah um and we still have the, I think it was a medium or heavy toast? Heavy it toast. Heavy toast, uh, because I wanted to have a lot of color change. That's why I chose the heavy toast. And now it should mature a bit faster than before. Because the lids because add the lids. a significant amount of, of inner surface to the cask, where we mm -hmm. before had uh, just glass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <coughs> let's have a try. Mm -hmm. um, so I got this sample bottle here and you have the the pump <laughs> yeah you call that I'll a pump get, i'll get a better <laughs> pump <laughs> yeah no, okay it's flowing so i see the level and as we reach the top I will rise okay. the bottle. It looks pretty brown mm -hmm. from up here. We should have a comparison to the first one or the last one we had. The first one was just clear, no color in it. Yeah, close to full, a few seconds, three, two, one. Finish. So here now we have the September nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. Here's the label. So let's have a look in my box here. When was the last time we tried it? 
That was the one from the German tag. That was the last time we tried it. So let's have a, a little comparison then. Not much difference. I think there's no difference. Mm. Mm. So didn't change the whiskey at all. So why do we taste? Hmm? Because we can. <laughs> I, I would say we have to make sure the taste didn't change. Ah, yeah. <laughs> do we oh, need a reason? <laughs> <laughs> There's always a reason. <laughs> So this is cast strength, high proof. Ah, I will put it here. So it's yeah, it is really like high the strength. color. I, I say the color is as a rear refill cask with a typical scotch. Mm -hmm. That's the color. So in those two years, or close to two years, uh, there's some transfer of caramel mm -hmm. color. So you do realize there is a, a good amount of peer in there from the ah, distillery character. It's alcohol in it. It's and there's a rough. good amount of alcohol <laughs> in it. And a little bit of a vanilla and a little bit of nuttiness as well. But they're still a bit faint. But you realize, okay, this is turning into a whiskey. This is not... Ah, it's too much of alcohol. <laughs> too much of alcohol. So, now I'm... We started around 60 ABV, and now I'm here down to, to 35 or something in that region. Ah, much more friendly. Oh, much more fresh, much, much more fruity. Yeah. But from my point of view, it makes it more fruity into the peers touch, so it appears a bit younger from my point of view. So there is a... There's a definite fruity note, which is, I think, the distillery character of St. Kilian. We find that quite often in the spirits of them. Mm. But the alcohol is still quite young. It's quite harsh. Yeah, I would say it, it is tasty, but it has a lot of uh, disturbing notes in it mm -hmm. that you wouldn't expect from a real whiskey. So. You do have flavors from a whiskey that you do recognize, but if I think if we try it, you do have a lot of disturbing flavors, like a lot of alcohol, a lot of sharp alcohol. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. Do I have to really? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 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 Sweetness, honey, just in the beginning. Mm -hmm. If we're going down, and then we got this cladding of this youthness of the whiskey, yep. of the not yet whiskey. Yeah, it's it got nice flavors, but it's still got some years to go. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So did we talk about how long we will keep that cask? Ten years? Depending on the flavor. <laughs> after, after I uh, say about five or six years, we we always gonna have the discussion: bottle it or not. <laughs> so to to have a uh, a few words, if you are new to the channel, uh, this cask was filled by a German whiskey distillery called St. Kilian, which was a missionary from Scotland. Mm -hmm and uh, who uh, went to the, oh, how it's called, Franconia, northern Franconia mm -hmm. in Germany. And uh, there he <laughs> had some uh, techtel mechtel going on with the wife of the, yeah, of the, not king, the local uh, duke. duke, whatever. And uh, in the end he was, yeah, <laughs> uh, killed, uh, but he brought the water of life to this part of northern Bavaria and therefore uh, St. Kilian is, was used for this distillery in northern Bavaria uh, for its whiskey and uh, it might be the biggest distillery in terms of actual production in Germany. So mm -hmm. they are producing with stills from Forsyth, 
from Rothes, uh, they produce uh, 150,000 liters a year and the cask storage grew to, I think, between five and 10,000 casks in the moment. So they are putting whiskey aside like hell. They're producing really a lot. And uh, some of the malt is coming from Scotland, mm -hmm. the, the peated malt. So this is unpeated. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a whiskey you really have to look for mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's not available in the moment, uh, far away from the distillery. Mm. Uh, so it will take some time. We do have it in Germany, but um, I think they are still pretty local. But I guess if they if they go go bigger and I talked to the proprietor and uh -huh. he said uh, they are they have the expansion, the expansion uh, on cool. their plan, mm. the international expansion on their plan. Okay. Yeah, I do like it. Um, I would say it's. It's a few pretty years similar, to go. pretty few similar to what we had before. Yeah. Mm. There was not much of that decomposition going on of, of the flavors. And um, I would say, yeah, let's have a look half in half a year for like the two year anniversary. Next time I will provide the calculation of uh, how much downtime we had and mm -hmm. the actual age of the whiskey within the cask. Mm -hmm. So you can't really calculate the age of the whiskey within the cask. Because uh, of bec of the uh, starting date, because we had that downtime, and I don't want to calculate the downtime into the age because um, yeah, it didn't mature during that time. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends, and see you next time.